Anarchism is often framed as a violent ideology, historically linked with terrorism, and in more recent years, with street fighting with the police and the destruction of property. And I don't want to dispel that interpretation of anarchism, but rather to place it within a broader understanding of how anarchists saw the world, how they see the world, and how to change it. Classical anarchist ideology saw the working class as subject to three forms of violent domination. Like other socialists, anarchists saw capitalism as structural violence, which forced people against their will to sell their time and labour for the benefit of others. Anarchists also saw violence manifest in culture, in institutions such as the church, which dictated the values and norms of society. And anarchists recognised the raw, direct, brutal violence uh, propagated by the state in institutions such as the police and the military. Now, to combat this trilogy of violence, anarchists proposed several strategies. Some called for workers to organise in unions and mass federations to fight back against capitalist violence. And here we find the roots of anarcho-syndicalism. Others advocated education of the masses, which would enlighten all away from the teachings of the church or state schooling. And some anarchists saw the correct response to state violence as a response in kind, calling for terrorism or popular violence directed against agents of the state or the wider apathetic public. If we want to understand the violence committed in the name of anarchism, we need to place it within this understanding. The anarchists saw the world we live in as a violent one, which requires us to educate, to organise, and for some, to respond in kind. 